So let's look at how you can use artificial intelligence with the Bravo platform. Here, I'm going to take an example where we're going to create an email campaign. I create this email campaign and now I have different options. I'm going to choose the subject. And of course, I want to send an email to announce all new artificial intelligence features. So I'm doing this and here I'm going to say I want to use AI. And then I'm going to say I want to use uh, AI for the title, but I want to use an action verb. And I want to create a sense of urgency. This is why we're sending this email. Now, the Bravo AI assistant comes back with three suggestions. I like the second one, so I'm just going to tell, I'm going to use it and I'm going to save it. I can also use AI to design the body of my email. Here, either I can create my own template or I can use an existing template that I already prepared. And I select the text box I want to use AI with. And I say, okay, the title text box, I want to change the tone. And I want to make the tone a little bit more impactful. So here we go. This is the proposal, but yeah, I don't quite like it. So I'm going to ask it to rephrase the text and I like the new proposal, so I'm going to replace the text. Now I'm going to the other text box and I want to change um, the content as well. So I'm going to say change the tone, fix the spelling and grammar. Uh, and then, you know, maybe I want to change the tone to be a little bit more educational. And so I'm looking at the new proposal. I like it and I replace it. And that's it. Now, I can do this for anything, including a call to action. So right now, I just put a placeholder call to action, but what I want my users to do is really to download a white paper. So I'm gonna say download a white paper, which of course is not a great catchy call to action, but no worry, I'm gonna use the AI assistant and I'm gonna say, please change the tone of voice uh, to make it a, a little bit more persuasive. And then I like what the AI assistant proposed, so I replace it with get your hands on a white paper. Now, of course, I'm going to select who I want to send this email to. And then I'm still going to use AI. So not just for the subject or the design, but I can also use AI to schedule this email. And I'm going to pick send at best time. So now it can be a Black Friday, uh, it can be a Valentine's Day, so you have to pick the day you want this email to be sent. But within this day, the AI assistant will send it at the best time of the day for each individual users. You're right. It's not about the average or where most of your recipients open their email. It's for each individual recipient. They're going to send um, this email at the best time of the day for them. And that's what you can do using artificial intelligence with Bravo.